Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then hi, my, my name is Erica. And today I am going to be talking about la, ha, 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 classically Abby and actually defending her, which may surprise some of you, but I, I don't know. It might not because you... If you know what I stand for, then you're probably not surprised that I defend people even when I don't necessarily ag agree with them or even like them. But anyway, so if you don't know who Kla ha Hasikli Abby is, she is a YouTuber who promotes classic living, which you usually entails modesty and abstinence and not getting drunk and all this all of these fun rules she places particularly on women but also on people of other genders but classically abby is currently pregnant and she recently had her hey 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 baby shower, and so her um, boobs are bigger than they were. I I feel really weird talking about this subject because I don't want to sexualize Abby further than she has already been. But I mean her chest is bigger than it was before she was pregnant. But in her baby shower, she was wearing a super high neck dress. I believe it was even long sleeves. So it was a very modest dress that didn't show much skin. But did that stop the internet from sexualizing her? And in effect, sexually harassing her? No, of course it didn't. Does that shock you? So men on the internet, unfortunately, made memes about Abby's chest and very sexual, gross memes. And I am not a rude, by any means, but I think when you sexualize somebody against their will and make sexual comments and jokes about them, it's just not appropriate. It's gross, it's objectifying, and it's not okay. And Abby does not deserve that. Even if she does do a lot of victim blaming, and I'm gonna get into that in this video, because when Abby was talking about her experience being sexualized and sexually harassed on the internet, she kind of Im implied that if you don't dress modestly, you're kind of asking for it, but people like her aren't, which is not a fair thing to say because nobody deserves to be sexualized and objectified no matter what they're wearing, no matter if they're open about their sex life. Like, strangers on the internet should not be sexualizing you. Colleagues should not be sexualizing you. Friends should not be sexualizing you. Like, unless you're consenting to it and it's like a back and forth, but, but even then it can be tricky. But just stop sexualizing people who don't want it and who have said, I don't, I, I don't like this. This is making me uncomfortable. And this is even true about if you who know the AT&T commercials with Hilly, the, the actor's name is um, 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 Lana uh, Vine Troop. I really hope I'm 
saying that right. I, I looked it up and like it showed the phonetic pronunciation and f from what I could tell it was pronounced Ilana of in or v vine tube and she is the actor is my dog okay she, she's making a weird f I think she's okay she, she's just tired but she plays li 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 Lily on the AT&T commercials and a few months back, it might have even been a year ago now, there were a bunch of nasty memes about her chest circulating on the internet. And mind you, these AT&T commercials are not raunchy commercials. She's wearing a button down top that's buttoned all the way up, but it doesn't it doesn't matter what she was wearing. So now Ilana in a lot of her her current commercials, she is standing behind a counter to try to stop people from talking about her body because she does not want people talking about her her body and she doesn't want men making these gross comments about her and i think it's an it's an important conversation to have that no matter what women or people presenting as women wear they continue to be sexualized and that's not okay and objectified it doesn't matter what somebody's wearing it doesn't matter if they're sexually active if or what kind of job they do what they choose to wear you, you just don't sexualize somebody like that and i think it's an important conversation because from what i could see about the discourse online a lot of men who are liberal were even making these jokes and being like, I don't agree with her, her politics, but wow, look at her. She's so hot. They, they, they didn't say, they said really gross things that I'm not repeating on my channel, but, but that's the most I'm willing to say. My dog looks like her eyes really hurt. So I might have to end this early. She has issues with her eyes. But in this video is not about this. I'm just getting very distracted because I love my dogs. But anyway, I saw a lot of liberal men saying these things. And I think that says a lot about these men because, like, women don't have to appease you or say what you want or be the type of woman you want for you to respect them. And if that is a condition for you to not objectify them and disrespect them, then maybe you're not as liberal and maybe you're not one of the nice guys. I, I already have a video on my channel about nice guys, particularly in the disabled community. So if you would like to watch that after this, feel free to go ahead. And at this point, I, I would like to shout out another YouTuber, Heavy uh, Writes Books because she also made a, a video on this and that is what um, brought this to my attention because to be honest, I have not been keeping up with what's going on with Classically Heavy because it's not my cup of tea. But if you found this video to be interesting or if you learned something please give it a big 
thumbs up. And if you have not already and you would like to see more of my content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope, I hope to see you again next time. Bye.